So over the course of the last year in game, we've actually seen some developments. The town is still of course held up by the gang we saw in the last video, but they're actually trying to expand. You can see, if you look closely here, you can see here, they're building like houses and stuff. They're trying to, like, you can see here, this is a very strategic place because this is the most thin point of the island. It's the most easy place to defend. Very strategic stuff. And they're also doing them, let's see, there's one, I've seen one over here somewhere. Here we go. There's one over here, look. There's one here next to the train track. So that's really bad because that's telling me that these guys are trying to block the island out uh, because they've done it over here. And if they manage it over this side, well, that means they've got the whole island. And that means I have to stop running trains over here. Which is a problem. It, it is a problem. Because then I cut off Somerville. And then I cut off access to Browns. From all of these towns. So yeah. Not particularly good. Uh, <laughs> not good at all really. And we don't have any boats to, to bring over in replacement. So yeah. Not, not the greatest. Uh, so we really do have to fight these guys back. At least a little bit. Because I, I actually need this train track. My, I'm thinking what I can do. Worst case scenario is to run a track so we're going over the bridge here and then when we get on this side if i get the track to like cut off here and bring it down past this farm maybe and then i could probably bring it over here and then quickly do a turn it's not ideal but if that if, if shit hits the fan that's my plan didn't mean to rhyme there but there we go uh, <laughs> okay let's do it we need to build a military base right now to uh, to try and counter that so where is a good spot for a military base that is a good question genius move. Let's tell the people of Woodstock that this gang are advancing. They are, well I mean technically they are, but um, yeah they're advancing and their next plan is to take over Woodstock and they have to fight and if they don't fight now they're gonna be under gang rule and it's, yeah that's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna work guys. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay so here we are, we've got our little military base. It's very basic but you know what? it works because it's going to grow over time remember now um i'm thinking about what to do i can't do trains i've had a look at that but there's no trains available of course we've used them all so we can't do that however i think a good option is trams because there's a road right here right right here it goes through and it goes straight here and the thing is i don't need a road to do trams i can do trams on just rails but private transport Private transport can also go on a road, can't it? So, that is pretty good stuff, I think. So all that's left to do is to get this piece of road and to make a little road. Now, how are we going to do this? I think we should go, like, off here. Like that. Uh, maybe a little bit, little bit this way. I want to get, like, kind of perfect if I can. So we'll go to, like, there. Okay. And we'll plop that down, and then we'll get a curve to go from there into... Oh my god, this... Uh, like, imagine, just imagine this for a second. Imagine if when I did a curve like that, it looked like that when I plugged it in. Not all weird and twisty, that would be cool. Alright, we're gonna just have to go to here then, that's a little bit annoying. But it will work, I believe, so we'll go there and we'll get our tram, ta tram tack tool, I mean my tram track tool. And we will do this now. We can't... Oh no, we're not going that way anyway, that's fine. Uh, we'll do that then. Simple stuffs all the way down here. There's no tight curve, so we're not having any problems with this. Aside from this one, this is a tight curve. So, simply enough, all we've got to do, I believe... In fact, we don't need... Do we need to do... Um, oh yeah, actually, we, we, we probably should do that if we're going into the into the city. Ah, this is going to cost some money. Okay. So, what we'll do is we'll bring this track around this here. Plug that in there. Okay, and then we'll go to tools and we'll undo that and put that on there. It's not the best ever um, building, but it works, it works, okay. And then this one here goes there like that. And then now we need to go back around on ourselves. So, how are we going to do this one? This is tricky. Uh, what if I did... If I did, I'm going to have to do that anyway. So what if I did that and then go to buildings... And we've got this new bus and tram terminal previously, didn't we? So if we just... Can we plug this one in here? Could it be as simple as that? Let's see. Uh, tram. It, we could do that. That's not a bad idea, actually. Does it, it does connect to the other side. Hmm. I quite like that, I'll be honest with you. I am a fan of that. Uh, go on, then. 
We'll do it. Go on. Cool. We don't have that much money, so I'm going to go with the small ones, I think. Uh, we can actually reuse that one there as well, which is good. Uh, so we'll just plop that down there, and we'll go over to our military base, and we'll put one down just about... Yeah, we can put one there, sure. Uh, the issue with this is, you see, I'm going to have to turn this around, which is going to be a bit of a task, because I have to go in some weird curves, and you'll notice this in a minute. Uh, it's going to get really funky really quickly. If I go like that, and then if I go like... Um, Yikers, this is, this is a tricky one. What about like that, maybe? Yeah, that works, cool. Plug that in there. Uh, you can see it's really tight curves, but the tram can just about take it as long as it's going slow enough speed, which it will be. Which is fine, let's get a tram route then from... We're going to start over here, so we'll put one down on that. Uh, and then we're going to go to that one. Military base. And then we're going to go back up here. We're going to go all the way this way, and you know, we might as well go on the way back. We'll grab that one. Uh, just so if there's any passengers here, they might want to go to the main center of town. It might be handy. And uh, then we go back to the start again. Okay, nice one. And this is going to be called Pass to Millie uh, 1. And we're going to find this and we're going to make it green. That's a good military color. That one's quite nice. I like that one. No, I like that one. That one's good. Right, we'll go with this one. This is Pass to Millie 1. We need a tram depot now. All right. Okay, so for a tram depot. Let's get one of these guys and let's find a spot for it. Let's say, let's say there, and then streets can go into that one. Cool, and then we just go tram track, do that. Nice, and then we get some trams now. So, let's see what trams we have available. It's been a while since we've done this. If they're too big capacity, we're only gonna have like a small frequency. If we have a lot of these small ones, I'm thinking that could work. Let's give it a try. I'm going to start off with just three. Small numbers because I am aware that we don't have unlimited money. We are dropping money quickly. We've gone down three million. Three and a half since last time. Look at these beauties. Look at that. Ah. Oh, beautiful. Very un very low powered as you can see we've got one horse on here. But wow they do look good don't they? Alright we don't have anyone on board just yet. But I think they will start rolling in soon. We have got the word out about enrollment. People know what it is now. And they know why they have to do it. So we hopefully should see some... There we go. We've got a couple of people wanting to do it. Epic. Nice. Alright, that's good stuff. What I'll do then, I'll come back to it when I've got some more passengers and some more military men ready to go. Excellent. Look at all these people. 11 out of 11 on board. How many are waiting here? We've got 27 people wanting to go to the military base. This is awesome stuff. Hopefully these guys can get over there and we can actually start trying to train our guys to fight these horrible, horrible gang members. And here it goes past the Woodstock cattle station. Awesome stuff. Let's check the uh, the one behind it. How's that doing? Where is it? Is that it? There it is. 11 out of 11. Awesome. And what about this one? 11 out of 11. Oh, okay, we might have to increase the uh, amount we have. How many do we have here? 32, it's building up. Okay, let's check a couple more of these guys on the line then. So we'll get, uh, let's say, get five. let's get, if we've got three, let's get five more. I know it's a bold move, but I think it'll be worth it. Get those guys, and I think what they should do is, I think they're going to split here, or are they going to all go the same way? No, they, they split, that's fine. That's good. I just want to make sure that we don't bunch up because bunching up is not great because that means people are waiting at tram stations uh, and then they're going to get bored and walk away and then by the time they get there there'll be no passengers. So uh, yeah, not particularly great um, if we do that. That's why I'm making sure they're not bunching up. But for the most part I think it's going pretty pretty well. We're getting a few people over at the military base. As you can see over here, these new people coming to the military base they're actually beginning to build some uh, some stuff. As you can see, we had an, a stage originally for the general appointed to be managing the soldiers. But he is now getting them to build, which is great because this means we can store more soldiers 
in the, the base. However, I'm not quite sure if there's enough recruits. I'll be honest with you, Woodstock only has a population of 112. Um, it's not that big. <laughs> so, I don't know, maybe we can make Lauby somehow, but how? <laughs> it's a good question. I think we're going to just have to make do for now. There's not a lot more we can do than that. A little bit of time has gone by. You can kind of see the numbers are kind of dwindling a little bit. We don't have as many recruits as we were getting. I guess that's kind of the rush of, oh, this is a war we're involved in. We got to really focus here and get recruited. I guess that's because it's over now. There's kind of the, the stragglers coming along, which we're still getting, which don't get me wrong, we still need. But I don't know. It just feels like we don't have that many recruits. All will be revealed. How's our base going? Uh, where are I? I've lost it. <laughs> it's over here. Very small. That's a very small base. But it looks like we've got some buildings that are setting up. Okay. Pretty good stuff. Uh, we're building some sort of... I'm not quite sure what this structure is just yet, but they've got a wall. And we also have... This looks like a, a registration office. Oh, look at that. That's a beauty of a shot right there. Look at that. Oh, the train going by the tram. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, let's let some time go past and we'll see... If uh, if we well if we see first of all if we run out of uh, recruits but we'll see how the military base comes along. Okay, so by the looks of things, they've used pretty much all of the local resources. Like all the big trees near here are cut down, and I don't see any rocks. So I believe these are rocks to make the wall and the the wood to make the the shack. But they do need some resources now, so I'm gonna have to set that up. Okay, so I've quickly just gone ahead and made a drop off point for our resource, and as it happened, I did plan this out, believe it or not. Uh, and uh, yeah, there's a there's a uh, there's a quarry over here which we're going to use the stone from to build our our barracks and our uh, encampments, all of our walls and whatnot. It's going to come from this quarry right here. So simply enough, I'm going to go ahead and convert some stuff to trams, I believe. So if we go to tram track, boom, boom, boom. There we go, and that should sort that for tram track. Plug that onto the end of there if it lets me, like that. There we go, nice. And then now, if I go to over here, we can get a, a drop-off. Where are drop-offs again? Here they are. Unload. Stop. Can't do it on junction. Okay, great. So we'll have to do it here then. No, you can't do that because it's... I have to do it here. Okay, not ideal. Really not ideal. Seems like it's on a point, but whatever. And uh, we'll go like that. And simply enough, we're going to go to new line. From the new line, we're going to go from there to over here. And once we've done that, we're going to change the color, of course. Now, what we're going to do, because it's stone, um, it would it would be like a because it, it goes into construction materials, which would be like a a clay color. I'm thinking like a like a brick sort of color, maybe, because this is building resources. So possibly, what about this one here? How's that looking? Is that the same color? It may well be. I think that one's more brick color. Yeah, we we use that one. That's pretty good. And we're going to call this one stone, uh, stone to cons one. Cool. And then we need some trams. So we'll go over here. We'll click on this guy and we'll go buy vehicles. Now, what do we want? Do we want a steam tram or do we want a horse drawn tram? Let's see. We've got a horse freight tram. 24 holds 10. Right. Okay. We've got a steam one. 32 holds 36. That's good. However, it's like six times the price. Uh, just to check, we can actually hold the cargo when you... Yeah, we can do stone. What about this one? Yeah, we can do stone for both. Cool. Now, what about you? I can do a long version of this. What does the long version do? You can hold 10. Not ideal. All right. And what's your cost? 9k a year. That's not too bad. That's cheaper than that one. That's quite good, actually. It's a bit slower. Uh, no, I'm going to go with these guys, I think, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna, I think these are the best ones. So we'll get, uh, let's say, three of these. And we'll chuck this onto stone construction one. Okay, we've got those guys coming out. Let's see if they do the job. Okay, here they come. The horse and the carts are in the station. They are now pulling out with the stone on board. Excellent. Let's see how things back are at the base. Um, okay, so we've got some more tents going up. No more construction I'm seeing, just tents. Yeah, we need that stone over here ASAP then, alright. Ooh, we didn't like that, look at that. Two kilometers an hour going over there. It was not a big fan of that at all. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Well, look at you! 
Baldwin six-wheeler. But he's smashing into me trams. You better not. <laughs> anyway, here we go. How fast is this guy's top speed? Let's just check. You can go 20. And it wants 20. No, is it 10? How fast are you? 24. Okay, cool. So that one's just dropped off now. You can see that we're... Oh, nice one. And it's getting used up. Excellent. Right, we can start building stuff now. Nice. You can see it's really starting to come along here. They've even started ordering the tents, which is something new. Oh, look at this. We have our first barracks, though. Looking brilliant. Nice. Right then, there's one last thing, one last very important thing for you to do, and it involves you guys. That's right. The top rated comment on this video before the next video drops will be the person who names this military base. Yeah, that's right. We're looking for a name for this military base. You can call it anything you want your wildest dreams but it's the top rated comment that wins in the next video so thank you guys very much for watching if you like this sort of content please 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 feel free to go to my patreon and support me there and you can always press the subscribe button as well and that would help me out a great deal so thank you to those guys who have done that and i hope to see you in the next episode where we wage war